Nikki Summer Camp presented by Ford. Brett Gardner had an outstanding 2019 season, blasting 28 home runs and driving in 74, not to mention in a year where the Yankees suffered more injuries than anyone else in the league, Brett Gardner managed to stay on the field and be a constant in that lineup playing in 141 games. Earlier today, I caught up with Gardner to get his assessment on how Yankees summer camp is going so far. Brett Gardner, Brett, how do you feel as though summer camp is going as a whole for the Yankees? You know, I feel like it's gone pretty good. Um, yeah, I think everybody came in this kind of with an open mind, not really knowing what to expect. And uh, for the most part, it's gone smoothly. I feel like our, our coaching staff and, and um, you know, everyone up here associated with the front office has really done a good job of setting things up where it runs pretty smoothly. And, um, you know, obviously we've got a couple guys that have, uh, have been away from the team and um, we're going to miss them for a little while. But hopefully, um, hopefully it's not too long and we can make it through the season all healthy. You mentioned some of the guys that have tested positive in DJ LeMahieu, Luis Sessa, Araldis Chapman. Uh, DJ LeMahieu in particular, he was such an asset to this team last season. How much will he be missed just with his versatility and his consistency at the plate? Well, we've definitely missed him. Hopefully, we're not going to be missing him for much longer. We hope we see him soon. But, um, you know, he's obviously a guy who's a huge, huge, huge part of uh, our team and our lineup. And his ability to move all around the infield and play different positions. And, um, you know, just a huge addition to this team last year. And I think um, one of my all-time favorite teammates, and we've definitely missed him here these last this last week or two. And uh, as I said, we look forward to getting him back soon. What makes him one of your all-time favorite teammates? Uh, he just, he just, he's, he's all business. I mean, he, um, he wants nothing. He wants to win as, as bad as anybody I've ever played with. He's all business and, just his work ethic and his routine and um, the level of consistency with, with which he does things every day, um, it's impressive to watch. With some of the new protocols that are in place to keep you guys safe, has there been a major adjustment on your end, the way you go about your business and the way you plan for a day? Uh, just getting accustomed to wearing a mask on a daily basis. Um, obviously, try and keep it on here uh, pretty much all times when I'm indoors at the stadium and then um, it's nice to obviously take it off and go outside and run around and be on the field. But, um, yeah, I mean, just being smart about what we do and avoid contact with others and, um, you know, constantly, um, you know, just double check and triple checking, making sure we wash our hands and, um, you know, be as safe as possible. But I think um, if we can all do that, um, well, um, things will work out. What do you think of the outfield depth that you guys have at the very moment? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. I mean, and we've got a quite a quite a good group of guys out there. Obviously, I'm um, battling for playing time, and um, you know, I think all across the all across the diamond, really. I mean, the infield and everybody um, has seen here recently in, in summer camp how good our pitching staff is. So, we've got a lot of depth. We've got a really good team, and as I said, if we can keep everybody healthy, um, we'll have a lot of fun in this short season. How is Aaron Hicks look to you coming back from Tommy John surgery? He may not even miss a game, Brett. Yeah, no, he's looked really good. He's looked good at the plate. Um, you know, I think um, in, in the outfield, he, he moves around really well, as always. And, um, you know, is all but turning it loose 100%, throwing the bases in the last couple of days. And uh, he's looked really good. So it'll be good to get him back. And um, obviously, Judge is, has been looking good. And, and Big G, having those guys healthy together in the same lineup, it'll be fun to watch. When you see that lineup coming together, how excited do you get for this 60 games and 66 days season? Yeah, very excited. I mean, obviously, um, you know, it's definitely um, it's definitely a little different than we uh, are accustomed to, but we're definitely excited about it and um, anxious to uh, play against play against somebody with a different jersey on this last week and a half. It's been a little different playing against uh, facing our teammates. So um, we'll be excited to uh, get to Washington next week. A couple guys mentioned that it's weird facing pitchers on your team. Has that been an odd part of it for you, stepping into the batter's box, kind of knowing what guys typically do and seeing how they attack you? Yeah, it has. It, it definitely has. Um, you know, I think it's good to be able to, you know, go up against your own guys and, and see what they look like and get a little different perspective and, and maybe give them a little input on what you're seeing at the plate as a hitter. So, um, and they can do the same thing, obviously, as a pitcher or, as the guy that's catching call in the game against you. So, um, you know, it's been it's been fun. And uh, I think so far it's gone really well. And um, obviously the pitching has, has seemed to be a little ahead of the hitting as, as we've been trying to get our timing back. But um, 
you know, the last few days have been better. And, and as I said, it'll be good to play against uh, somebody with a different jersey on. Do you think there's enough time for guys to feel really comfortable in the batter's box and get a lot of that timing back? I do. Yeah. I mean, I think that we're, most of us are, are at that point where, um, you know, once you get 15, 20 at bats under your belt and you start to have an idea of where you're at and what you need to work on and um, what you need to do to, uh, to get ready in a short amount of time. So for the most part, it's a matter of getting your body ready and making sure that, um, making sure that you're ready to go from that standpoint. Miguel Andujar was a huge bat in the lineup in 2018. Aaron Boone said he's going to try to get that bat in the lineup, may play a little bit of outfield. Have you given him any pointers in the outfield, Brett? He looks really good out there, makes some good plays, gets good jumps, good reads off the bat. And, um, you know, he's an athlete. So I think that, um, you know, I'm confident in the job he's able to do out there. And I know he's excited to be on the field and play wherever he's at. And like you said, we really missed him last year and we're, we're happy to have him back. So. I look forward to seeing him um, moving around and playing some different positions. Now, it seems as though you've just been going about your business like normal. I think I saw you salute the bleacher creatures one day. You also threw a ball to the fans. Well, there are no fans. Are you going to keep doing that throughout the season? Have your teammates been getting a, a little bit of a kick out of that? Well, yeah. I mean, I think we have to do what we can to just, um, you know, entertain each other. And um, it's definitely going to be different with no, no fans in the seats. I know the last week or so has been a little eerie here at the stadium playing with uh, with literally no one watching. So, um, you know, it's nice to be back out on the field, but we definitely do miss the fans being in the seats and look forward to uh, the day when we can play in front of them again. Brett, as always, thank you so much for the time. Thank you. This will be Brett Gardner's 13th season in pinstripes. Uh, he has only ever worn pinstripes, drafted in the third round back in 2005. He is the only current Yankee on the roster that was part of that 2009 World Series World Champion team. A 2015 All-Star and 2016 Golden Glove winner. You know that he has been an asset to this Yankees team from day one. He is a leader in the clubhouse, and he is certainly a guy that younger players look up to.